this is not Forza Horizon 4. This is Forza Horizon 4's far cooler cousin, Forza Motorsport 4. And you're probably wondering, well, what am I doing on this game? And the answer to that is simple. The far superior car list. And I mean far superior car list. But uh, I do actually have something I wanted to do. This. I love this car. This generation of Civic. It's actually rather strange that neither of these cars have returned. But I want to build myself a Civic. This Civic. Also this. Look at this. I miss that car. Obviously that. It's in, the, uh, it's in Motorsport 7. Not in Horizon 4 though. I've got no idea what games that one's in. All of these are in Horizon. That, however, I don't know if that has appeared in a game since this one. The Superior Integra. If it has, please let me know. Uh, there's this. That's not in Horizon 4. I wish it was, because that's cool. And, uh, well, that's just gorgeous. Obviously, I understand why that's not in Horizon 4. But anyway, we're building a Civic. A very nice little Civic. What colour do we get it in? I'm building my perfect Civic. So it would probably be yellow. Yeah. I'd definitely have a yellow one if I could. I love these Civics. Now, if you have never played the old Forza games, I kind of feel sorry for you. Because let me tell you, they put a lot more effort into the customization, And... Even the Forza Aero looks better. Like, look. It looks like... Where's the wing? This is going to have the hatchback ring. Ring? Wing. So this is probably not a good example. Because this hasn't changed. This wing is the only thing left of the old Forza Aero in the newer games. The hatchback wing. But it doesn't look so bad compared with the old Aero. But yeah, what kit should we go with? We could go with a Mugen one. Mugen's cool. Mugen or JS Racing. I kind of like how low that one is. Let's see if the full kit is that low. Oh, there's no side skirts. That's no good. Or rear bumper. Useless. We could go with a full Bomex kit. Let's see how that looks. Oh, we've got a we've got a bonnet. Yeah. Nah, I like the stock one. And wings, wings are important. Wow, that's very large. I don't think I like either of these. I think I'm just going to keep that stock. That's uh, most of our appearance. Now, wheels. The wheels aren't the same. There's uh, wheels in here that aren't in newer games and wheels and newer games that aren't in here. So I've got quite a lot of options. And I like these wheels a lot. There's something about them. And I think I'm going to have them on this car. I would show you all of the wheels that are different. But honestly, I can't remember them all. Because of the way it's laid out in this game, it's much harder to keep track of what wheels are where. Because I don't know what company makes them all. Alright, we've got our wheels. Mm. I think 16s are good. We're going to make these nice and fat. 
And again, I'm not building this to be some class racer or anything. I don't care about that. I'm just building it to be exactly how I would want it if I owned one. And I would definitely put a body kit on one if I owned one. And the more I look at this Bomex kit, the more I like it. We'll go sport tyres. I think those are probably the most realistic. I believe sport tyres are the equivalent of race tyres in the Horizon games. Because in this game, race tyres are slicks. We'll get ourselves a diff. Gonna keep this somewhat realistic. A diff and a bit of clutch, how about that? Obviously it's important that I lower it. There we go. And uh watch this car not show it, but in this game, uh, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. If it even does it to this car. Look, I don't know if you can see that. Weight reduction removes the passenger seat. I think it might remove some other things as well. But I don't think they do that anymore. They definitely don't in Horizon anyway. Look, can you see the passenger seat there? Gone. Why don't they do that anymore? Uh, but actually, yeah, I am going to do some weight reduction. I want my passenger seat though. <laughs> oh, I'm going to do these just because I can. Now, brakes. Well, brakes are quite good, actually. Yeah, we'll put straight brakes on. And an exhaust. We'll go full exhaust. And an air filter. Exhaust and an air filter. 160 horsepower. Can we... Can we turbo it? Or we could make it... Rear wheel drive, yeah. I was gonna say the uh, the drivetrain swaps are different in the older games. You can't all wheel drive swap everything. Not that you'd do that in the motorsport games anyway, but Oh we could supercharge it. I want a single turbo it. Just a maybe we'll upgrade it one stage. With a fat intercooler. I think that's that's good. Oh, I missed the driving in this game so much. I was playing it all night. Just because I booted up to make sure it all worked before doing this video. And got slightly addicted. Look how beautiful that is. Yes. Take it to test drive so I can tune it if it's awful. And I think you know where I'm going with it. Here. <laughs> We'll, we'll go somewhere where we can test the speed of it in a sec, but this is important. Just listen to how much better the engine is. Like, this might sound really stupid, but is it not easy for them to just take the noises from this game and put them in the newer games? Because the Honda sounds so bad in the newer games. But anyway, let's admire our Civic for a second. I think I've done a pretty good job with this. I want these wheels in Horizon. And let's go. Admire 10 miles of Japanese mountain road. I miss this map so much. If they don't bring this back for the Motorsport reboot, I'm going to be severely disappointed. Like, severely disappointed. This is even a good road to, to drive at, like normal speed. Get in a stock car, drive up here at like 30 miles an hour, listening to music. I used to do that a lot. Now, I must warn you, my skills are slightly rusty in this game. It has been a little while. I probably should have uh, <laughs> practiced a bit more before doing this video, but I think we'll be okay. Imagine drifting these roads in Horizon. If the next game's not in Japan, I'm going to be a little bit disappointed. Oh, I scratched my car. Oh, that's only a light tap. Of course, the damage model in this game 
is far better than the newer games as well. I'm not sure about this car, but most cars can have bits fall off, I believe. Like, if I hit one of these walls hard enough, the bumper will probably come off. I wasn't trying to do that intentionally. That's just my <laughs> rusty skills. I don't want to look at it damaged. Let's take a nice first-person drive. Considering how old this game is, it actually still looks quite good. Oh, little front-wheel drive oversteer. Keep it in our lane. This is so relaxing. God damn it, I missed this game. Looks like I'm going to be taking a break from Motorsport 7 and Horizon 4. <laughs> Oh, I don't want to know what the outside of this car looks like. Very scratched. And uh, this game is the reason we don't have the DeLorean anymore. I believe it was removed in an update, but in the Auto Vista mode, which is different in this game, in this game it was a select few cars, and there was a Jeremy Clarkson voiceover telling you about the car and the history. And there was one for the DeLorean, in which Jeremy Clarkson said a lot of bad things about DeLorean and its founders. And that is why we don't have the DeLorean anymore. Ooh. Because they got upset. And uh, that was that. It was never seen in a Forza game ever again. And that's why you're likely probably not ever going to see it in a Forza game ever again. I'd quite like it to make a return, but I don't have my hopes up, because I've seen the original voiceover. I played this game when that voiceover was in it. I don't think it was that bad, to be honest, but apparently the license holders for DeLorean did. This car drives so nicely. This game had absolutely perfect driving physics for just chilling. I imagine Motorsport 7s is probably technically more accurate to real life while still maintaining its casual side. But in this game it just felt so good. Also the sense of speed is much better. We're only going at about 60 miles an hour in most places up here. And this is what going 120 would feel like in Horizon. And uh, like I said earlier, there's a lot more customization in this game. A lot, a lot of the Mercedes have Brabus parts, for instance. I might do a video on one of them because I loved the Mercedes in this game. I love Mercedes in general, but this game had the best selection of Mercedes. So I might do another video on Mercedes. And if you're watching this and you've never played this game, I recommend going out, buying an Xbox 360 and this game, and playing it. An Xbox 360 is worth it for this game alone. And I imagine they're not that expensive anymore. There's been two generations out since, so... I believe they're about 50, 60 quid now. Which is incredibly good. Especially as you get to play the original five Horizon games. Although I think Horizon 1 is backwards compatible. That's another thing. Why is Horizon 1 backwards compatible and Motorsport 4 isn't? What's that about? A bit upsetting. I imagine it's... I was going to say I imagine it's because of licensing, but... How does that affect anything? Horizon 1's been delisted, yet it was still backwards compatible. Maybe it's because they knew that if this game was backwards compatible, nobody would play Motorsport 7 ever again. 
and they're right. Why play Motorsport 7 when you can play car football in a Toyota Prius in this game? I'll probably do a video on the Prius as well, because that car was great fun. Oh, I didn't crash, you didn't see that. Oh, I didn't crash, you didn't see that. Oh, this is so much fun. I have all of the Forza games. So if you want me to do a video driving any car in any game, let me know. I don't have the DLC for most of them though. In fact, I only have the expansions for Horizon 3 and all the DLC for Motorsport 7 and Horizon 4. So if, the, if you want me to drive a DLC car, I'm sorry, but I probably can't. Because I missed it all. Which is really, really annoying. I hope one day they... Oh shit! I, uh, I hope one day they release some sort of collection remastered collection of all the old 360 motorsport games that includes the DLC because I want to drive the Cadillac Eldorado down this road I keep forgetting this is front wheel drive but it's okay, it looks fine from the inside. <laughs> I'm slightly scared to go into third person. As I've destroyed my perfect Civic. But yeah, if you want me to do a build on any cars and any games, let me know. And I'll do it. Oh, this, this bad driving isn't even because of not playing motorsport for a little while it's because I don't remember this road very well as it's been a long time should we see what the car looks like in third person oh well, it's not looking healthy is it it's not looking healthy at all Tunnel! I love tunnels. I think the car got quieter through the tunnel. What was that about? I've got no idea how close to the end we are. I might just stop doing Horizon 4 videos entirely. Just focus on Motorsport 4. The driving's so good. The lack of vibration in the controller is confusing my brain a bit. With the because obviously I don't play with any assists. No assists in steering, so I keep accidentally locking the brakes. And uh, that's a lap. And now I'm going to give you a quick teaser as to why this game is uh, the best game. First of all, Audi. Where's that in Horizon? That'd be perfect for Horizon. Got a little S4. This car. I love these. Where's that gone? I'd love that back. Uh, I think a lot of these cars are still in the newer games. Two different versions of this R8. I don't know much about R8, so I think they've just one of them's a facelift or something. I would love race cars in Horizon. This BMW is cool. Uh, I think a lot of these are probably the same as well. What I would do to have that in Horizon. What what else we got? Where's my Mercedes? Obviously there's the DeLorean. Everyone misses that. Oh, the Ferrari 612 Spaghetti, I think's in this game. Yes. The 612 Spaghetti. Where did that one go? I love that car. Then there's the Challenge. Who cares about the Challenge when you've got the 612 Spaghetti? Uh, the Ford KA. That's a strange car to have in a Forza game, isn't it? But that was what was so good about this game. There's Thunderbird. 
There was a lot of awful cars. A lot of really ra like that. A lot of cars that are not good, but they were fun. Obviously, there's Honda Fit. Loads of cars that are missing. The 2003 Nissan Skyline. That's a cool car. One of the coolest cars in this game is in here, in the Mazda section. I'm sure a lot of you know exactly what it is. All the way over here, the Burei. This was its first and last appearance in Forza. I think that might be because it burnt down. I've got no idea if they laser scanned that or modelled it. Because if they modelled it, that's probably why it hasn't reappeared. Mazda 3, we all want them in Horizon because they're traffic cars. Mercedes, there are so many good Mercedes. Look at that, why don't we have that? Even that. Look, they just, look at them, they're so gorgeous. And they're missing in the newer games. This car's got Brabus parts. You remember when everyone was making a big deal out of the Mercedes thingy in Horizon 4 having Brabus parts? That used to be normal. Don't praise them for doing things that they used to do all the time. This car, I love this car. I don't like that car. That's ugly car. Nissan, there's the, the Skyline that I like. Where is it? That one. Been a while since that's shown up, I think. Uh, aside from that, I don't think that's the same GTR we have now. I think that was replaced with the Black Edition. If that is the Black Edition, uh, feel free to correct me. But I don't think it is. This was the Mosler's first appearance. It was nowhere near as fast in this game. I would pay money for this in Horizon 4. And that, and that, and that. I do love those games. Ruth. Uh, we don't have Porsche in this game, I don't think. And we got Ruth instead. Sayat. Where did they go? I love Sayat. Obviously Scion. Those are hideous cars. They can stay. I don't care. We got the Top Gear car. That was cool. And of course, the most important... The Prius. If there's any car they bring back from this game, I want it to be that. Maybe that as well. That was one of the coolest Alikas. The Altezza. I would like one of them. That's a very realistic car. You see them a lot around here. That can stay out. I don't like that. I'd like one of them. We also had some more Volvos. Do like Volvos. And look, just more average, boring cars. This is why we miss this game. Because it was the best game they ever made. Anyway, that'll be it for today's video. Again, if you haven't played this game, or you do have this game, go and play it. If you don't have it, go out and buy it. I promise you, it's only going to cost you a tenner. If you don't have an Xbox 360, that's only going to cost you about 50 quid nowadays. So that's 60 quid, and you get to play the best Forza game ever made. And let me tell you, it is 100% worth it. 100%. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free to like and subscribe. And like I said, if there's any cars you want me to play with, uh, just let me know, and I'll probably do it. But yeah, I'll see you in the next one.